this is truly a dream because I am cooking in an hacienda in Sonora on the outskirts of Hermosillo. And this is actually a pecan growing hacienda. And this is just such a treat. We are starting with a caldo de queso, which is a most traditional soup here in Sonora. And I'm excited because every time I've come to Sonora, every single time, which has been two times, I've eaten, <laughs> I've eaten caldo de queso. Caldo de queso is a recipe that just screams out Sonora. And it's a homey, nurturing, super simple to make soup that can become part of your soup rotation because it is so delicious and so easy to put together. So I'm chopping an onion. So I started by putting four chiles verdes. That's what they're called here in Sonora, though you may know them as Anaheim chilies. And I am, los estoy asando. That's a word we use in Mexico and in Spanish to say when you're gonna toast something. Now you can either toast it by putting it on the comal, which is what I'm doing back there, or you can grill it or you can broil it. What it accomplishes is we are cooking the flesh of the chile and we're completely transforming the essence of these ingredients. So instead of being fresh and grassy and crunchy and bright, it's gonna be more intense. It's gonna coax out the flavors. So once that you see the skin that it's completely charred, that means that when you sweat it, it's gonna come off. I'm gonna add this one is ready. These guys are gonna start sweating and you can see the steam. And you can see how the skin is starting to wrinkle even more. Okay, so we have the chili sweating. We have the chopped onion. I'm gonna do three potatoes. I'm gonna peel them. Caldo de queso is the soup of Sonora. And an amazing thing about this soup is that you can make it year round because these ingredients you can find year round and the results are delicious and unpretentious. Pretty much like everything here in Sonora. So we're gonna chop these potatoes. Let me check my chilies. Oh, this is so nice. See, you can see how they used to be puffier and bigger and they sweated for the time I've been cutting the potatoes. So you can clean your chilies under the sink, but you can also just grab a little bowl with water because this helps remove the skin and just remove the skin like this. It's so fast, it's so easy. I'm gonna open the chilies and then we're gonna use a little bit of this water to remove the seeds. I'm gonna cut them into little rajas. And raja, you just refer to any chile that is cut into strips. And I want them like in big bite size. Because I like to bite into things, even in my soup. And I'm gonna add one chopped ripe tomato. Tiny little bites of tomato that are gonna brighten the soup and give it a little bit of color. Put it in here. I have this pot. I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And here I have the potatoes and the onion that I already diced, and I'm gonna add them all together and I want them to start browning. So what I wanna do here is I wanna start browning the potatoes and the onion, and I'm seasoning with salt throughout the cooking process. So a little bit of salt, because I want those potatoes and that onion to start getting a little bit of that salt. And I have this over medium-high heat. By browning and softening the onion first and browning the potato, you're giving the vegetables their own layer of flavor. So they're gonna be packed with taste in the soup. So now I'm gonna add the chicken broth. I'm gonna let this come to a simmer, and I'm gonna add the um, chile verde or the Anaheim, and then we're adding the diced tomato. And this is gonna be another punch of color. Come see how pretty this is, Kev. Please. Pretty? Mm-hmm. It's gonna add a little bit of like freshness to the soup. 
I'm gonna reduce the heat just a little because I'm about to add milk, which is a traditional addition to the caldo de queso or sopa de queso. And you don't wanna add milk to a soup over a very high heat because it can curdle. I'm gonna add two cups. The milk makes the broth very creamy and I don't know, it just gives it a really nice depth that goes really well with the next thing we're gonna add, which is cheese. I'm gonna dice my queso fresco. I don't know which plates to choose from. Like, should I use these? Should I use these? Should I use these? They're all gorgeous. I should be making three different soups. So I have my cheese. Mm. I have my soup. I have my plates. Excuse me. <laughs> Put a little bit of cheese here. Okay, that's a lot. Oh, look at these. This soup is making me so happy already. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 I'm biting into the cheese. It's still a little firm, but so sweet and mellow in contrast with the roasted Anaheim, which is subtle but rustic. It has that fresh bite of the tomato. This is such a comforting, delicious piece of Sonora that you could make every day at home.